10 cicada. So there's going to be swarms of them flying around. Some people and some businesses are embracing the arrival of the big eyed bugs. WMR 2 News Megan Knight is here now with a look at how you can get in on cicada craziness, Megan. <laughs> well, if you can't beat them, join them, right, Christian? Because I know a lot of people I talk to when I ask them, hey, what do you think about the cicadas coming? Ooh, not so thrilled about them coming up from underground after living down there for 17 years. But rather than spend the next month or so dodging them as you go from your house to your car and back again, why not embrace them? They're coming whether you like it or not. So, for example, you could rock a T-shirt, a hat, a face mask, uh, showing off your Cicada pride from CicadaNation2021.com. It was started by Hal Martin, who admits he has a very deep fascination with the bugs. He created the website to sell this Cicada-centric merchandise, and he really has something for all ages. He has shirts for babies and toddlers to remember their first Cicada all the way up to adults. Or you could indulge in some chocolate treats when the cicadas arrive. Susan Wary, she's the owner of Sweet Cascades down in Old Ellicott City. She is selling choco cadas made with chocolate and Rice Krispie cereal. And she also has some chocolate covered strawberries with wings that are made of dry fruit. And I want to rest assure everybody they are not made with actual cicadas. No bugs were harmed in the making of those desserts. Both Susan and Hal say really it's just about having fun with something that only comes around every 17 years. The past couple weeks it's making everyone smile and laugh and giggle and say cicada-tastic with me so it's it's been great. We don't have any scientific evidence to support this yet but the general consensus is that if you purchase and ultimately wear one of these cicada shirts, the bugs will not bother you. They'll leave you alone. So that's our big selling point. Yeah, so I'm going to be buying at least 20 of those T-shirts. And if you'd like to see uh, more pictures and get links to some of these products, of course, we have it online at WMAR2news.com. Christian, over to you. Okay, Megan. Yeah, I think it won't be too long, though, till we see some uh, actual cicadas in various foods. You know it's going to come up at some point. But what are some of the other businesses getting in on the fun? <laughs> Oh man, there are so many of them, Christian. So, for example, we have this other t-shirt right here. This is from the Queen's Inc. in Savage Mill. It was created by the owner, Patty Euler, there. That really cool print. Uh, I just saw that Cake by Jason in Timonium. They have cicada-themed cupcakes they're going to be selling at their shop on Saturday. You can wash it down with a Brood 10 IPA, B-R-E-W, apostrophe D, get it? Uh, that's in Silver, uh, Silver Branch Brewing Company in Silver Spring. They did run out of the cans, they said, but you you can still try it in their tap room. And then if you want to make this a permanent uh, occasion and really remember this for the rest of your life, Waverly Tattoo Company in Remington in Baltimore, they've also got cicada tattoos for you, Christian. So, you know, it may only come around every 17 years, but you can make it last your lifetime. Some, something to think about, uh, Megan. Maybe I'll let you go first and then I'll decide <laughs> if I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> cicada tattoo for 2021. Thanks very much. Maybe we convince Lynette.